right on here. Both tall, long, clean strikers. Uh, this is going to be an exciting one, in my opinion. Ah, just going to town right out the away. Gate. Wow. Those knees are nice. Huge uh -oh. knees. Oh, little uh, headgear adjustment. Right, right back is. at it. Back into the fire. I love Man. this phone booth type of fighting. <laughs> These guys are now in the back. Ryan. Uh oh. Uh, I think one of those knees caught down low. He is Elijah Squirman. Definitely burst one. Wow, uh, yeah. He might use all five minutes for this. Whew. I think that's the fastest start we have seen so far. Wow. Coming out the gate hot. I mean, again, with a little protection, you think that, you know, you should start a little hot. I think if they came out like this with no headgear on, we see a dead body. Yeah, for sure. This wouldn't be going too far. And Speaking of dead body, I'm a little sad to see that Herb is not fighting on this card anymore. Apparently there was a weight issue, but... Yeah, no, I mean, this would have been a great opportunity because this would have been that leap to jump to go to pro, you know? Yep. But I think Sully, when he comes with these knees, he's going to have to start bringing them a little higher, right? Think about placement, especially with that uh, Muay Thai grip plumb. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, he's going to use all this time. This man is wincing. See, if he can bounce on his heels here, again, that's how you release the pressure from your, you know, yeah. he, he has to bounce on his heels. Yeah, a couple foot stomps. <laughs> okay, he, he's getting his composure. He still needs a little bit. Let's see if these two fighters come out a little calmer after that. I think that was a little too wild. Both these guys are a little more technical than that. He's getting it together a little early here. All right, back at it, touch of the gloves. Here we go. You can definitely see him in that clinch. Nice. Uh-oh, that, that wobbled him. I think Elijah's complaining about another low blow, but he pushes through. Okay, there's his head, though. He has to get his head off that line. And Brian with that one, too. Oh, my God. Uh, we are having headgear issues from both guys. Nice leg kick. Uh-oh. He's down. Just a trip. Nice. Oh. No knees to the head. He's been warned. A lot of clinching. Due to swinging for the fences, they're swinging. Yep. I mean, Brian's boxing background, I would like to see him step off the gas a little bit, be a little bit more sharper. Yeah. Definitely slowed down, which I think was much needed. Um, Brian's definitely got the boxing um, down. I think Elijah is doing a very good job of getting the clinch after he's getting pieced up a little bit. I just like to see a little more off the clinch from both guys. 
a very fast pitch round. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, lightning out, light, light, lightning struck tonight with both of these guys. Um, I think they're overemphasizing the punches just because, again, you know you have a little headgear on. Yeah, so it's yeah. like they're trying to punch through the pads. Right, yeah, you're a little more protected. You don't feel as much. So, yeah, no, I definitely would like to see what the gas tank looks like coming out of the second round. Oh, yeah. Having four minutes left. Uh, we'll see some adjustments, obviously. Right. Um, I would like to see a little bit more control. Have maybe one guy attack A. Um, every time that Sabo actually throws a strike, he dips his head off, um, off to the right. And yep. I think if Sully sees that, I mean, that head kick can blind him. For sure. <laughs> Second round about to begin. Elijah with that, a nice jab. There you go. That's more composure coming out. Back to the clinch. Nice teeth by Brian. Nice. Yeah, that's a nice turn. Nice reversal by Brian. If this is MMA, we'll be, we'll be in a world of trouble here. Yeah. Okay, Brian's showing a little more faith. There he is. But you see how I'm saying? Every time he gets touched out, he dips that head. So all he needs to fight longer. He doesn't need to press him up against the cage, especially in kickboxing. Oh, man, this headgear. There we go. Uh oh, nice catch. There it is. Oh, nice left hook by Elijah. Needed the body. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, he didn't Very like that. Nice he didn't left. like that at all. Yeah, that was a nice left by Brian. You like to see the self control rather than teeing off on the guy, though. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Oh, nice three piece. Hey. Nice one, too, by nice. Brian. Here it comes. Brian's finding his mark. Clinch on the cage. Referee splits him up. Short time, Tommy. Short time. Short time. Man. Get some extension. Get some extension. Short time is here. Short time. You got five. Go, go, go. Uh, I think Elijah was slowing down at the end of the second there. He got pieced up, and he looked like he was slowing down. And yeah, no, definitely, you can tell that both fighters uh, in this round, they slowed down substantially, which was really nice. Yeah. Uh, but, I, I mean, you, you see Sabo's gas tank draining just a little bit more than Sully's. I think if the headgear was a non-factor, you'd see both guys actually be able to see what's coming. For so. sure. Yeah, I think Sullivan was finding his mark at the last 30 seconds of that round there. I like them stringing combos together, too. As well. Yeah, both these guys are fighting at 185 today. I mean, they're both 155ers. Both these guys fight at 155, so they're fighting 30 pounds above their weight class. Um, no weight cut, just let's put on some gloves and brawl. Short notice fight. Um, short notice fight, Sullivan is definitely the fresher fighter coming out in this. Touch of gloves, third round. Here we go. Sabo got to get that head off the center line. It's sitting there. Oh, big uppercut by Brian. All right, this is where the box is going to come in handy. Sabo's head is staying on that center line, man. He has to get it off the center line. Brian does not Keep want the, the extension involved. Oh, I wish we could stop the time with that head get fixed. Ryan is finding that one two every time. Beautiful knees. Punches, punches. Oh, that's a nice keep. Sully is coming for the finish. Oh, without oh, the knee to the head. He's going to stop him with the knee to the head. That. 
Uh, I mean, you hate it, to it, see it. Yeah, it's incidental, but I mean, it yeah, is a knee to the head for yeah, sure. Yeah, it was for sure the knee to the head. Done. Done. I mean, that's coming off a of body strike. So Referee's you're... asking him if he's done. Oh, this would be. Oh man. Doctors are gonna come in. Oh, that sucks. I think Elijah was kind of ducking down, and that yeah, was completely accidental. But I mean, he's coming off a body shot, though. He ate the body, so he, he's, he's hurling from that. Yeah. But yeah, no, this is definitely gonna suck. This does not look good. And definitely, he's sitting here. I think uh, ref's gonna call it quits. And then, I mean, again, if if this is an MMA fight pro, would definitely look good there. But it, since again, you, you have to right. fight within the rules. And I mean, and Sully actually looked good when he actually took the knees off. Right. Yeah, I think Sabo's gonna be done here, man. Yeah, Elijah's still holding his head. Yep, that's it. Yep. If he wobbles, it's a true stand. Can he get to his feet? Okay, Elijah's on his feet, still holding his head. Yeah, they're going to stop it. And this literally could have been fight of the night. Literally. Sounds like the fight's going to be over. So, yeah, so here the ref is actually telling him that because he ducked into the knee, that's why it's legal. Right, yeah. Because, again, coming off, I, I told you, once it, once he touched the body, he's leaning over because he's hurling off that body shot. Yep. Unfortunately, again, the knee is following up. Hey, it's and the same thing. If you get hit in the back of the head, if you turn away when you get hit in the back of the head, that that's legal. Yeah, that is uh, going to be a dub for Sully. I don't think he's going to be too happy about it, but a win's a win. Yeah, and I mean, now he's pouting, right? Because you got to think, right? Even if, like, let's say it wasn't that much damage and you take a dive here, right? You take a dive, gambling as if you can get the knee to the head, and mm -hmm. it didn't work out in your favor. But I mean, you like to see the side of the two fighters again. You know, very right. unintentional. Definitely a good embrace. Yep. It's always good seeing respect shown by both fighters. I mean, I would definitely like to see both run it back in an MMA Yeah, set I was setting. about to say, let's see this run back in MMA. I mean, same weight class. Same weight class, cut weight class. I mean, fireworks came out the gate. I think if this is an MMA fight, it is very different in the sense of approach. But hey. if both guys are willing to throw their head in the fire like that, I think that'll be, again, another fight of the night candidate. Yeah, we got PFC card March 11th. Maybe we see him on that. Yeah, if the ref looks at the replay, he's going to see Brian touches the body. Guy oh, runs off to the right, and unfortunately, there's a knee meeting you there. Yeah. I mean, textbook knee. Oh, yeah. If we were pros, right? <laughs> But I mean, I mean, even there, you know, the intent of the knee was looking for that body. Yeah. And, it, and if you're going to tuck your body away and use your head instead. But again, look at look how great both both guys' hair is, right? If, if, if they didn't take off the head gear, we wouldn't have seen how great these hair is. Right? We got a fresh fade and luscious locks. Look at that. Love to see it.
think this would have been a good fight for Brian just because, again, you think about he came back from uh, Cali just to fight, trying to be in town, trying to be in the gym, you know, taking extra time, teaching classes, just to get, you know, more gym time under his belt. So, I mean, you hate to see this type of finish, but, again, that was a tough guy that stood in front of him. Right. Um, and he showed in the moment control when he could have teed off. You know, obviously, when he had the guys back a couple times. Um, coming off of, obviously, the uh, groin shot, I mean, you, you see him take note that, okay, I can't just let my knees fly. I actually have to be precise with them. Right. Um, going into the second, he lands maybe one or two knees that were on, on the target. Pulling away in the second, at the end of the second, was pulling away as well. And he's actually fighting at the end of his punches, which is really nice. All right. Be interesting to see what the ref says. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the illegal blow is unintentional. So by the rule, we are going to the judges' cards for the winner. Interesting. And if we go to judges' scorecard, I mean, that leans towards Sully. I mean, unless they dock them. But. Right. If they, if they got him for that, uh, the groin shot, I mean, it was the first one. So, uh, that's right, they dock you on the second groin shot, correct? Oh, uh, yeah, on the second one. Okay, so, one. so yeah, so, I mean. I would say probably unanimous then, Sully. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the eighth fight by your unanimous decision and fighting the red corner, Brian right. Sullivan! Uh, so Brian, let me get you over here, buddy, in front of the camera over here. So I guess a win's a win. How, how did you feel going that way? Honestly, that was kind of the worst fight I've ever had. I personally hated my performance and every bit of it. But you know you have to do what you have to do. So how do you get better for the next one? Train and train and train until I get better. So you, you have the next fight lined up? Um, we'll see. I'm, I'm told in a couple months, so maybe next time we'll see. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, your winner, Brian Sullivan! <laughs>